go through the fundamental basics of a standard basic draw. And this is something that you have to repeat and practice and practice and practice. Remember, shooting is a perishable skill. So it's great to be very good at something one day and a month later or two months later you haven't been training, you haven't been practicing what you were taught, you lose that skill. Very, very basic. I'm a right-handed shooter, my right hand is my strong hand. For a left-handed shooter, please, it's just the opposite. Doesn't matter what your position is of your hands, your hand will go to your pistol. Here is where you want to get your grip as good as possible. You can adjust the grip once you've re relieved your pistol from its holster. It's just not as easy and slows things down. So rather take that extra millisecond, get a good grip here on the belt, in the holster, which is preferable than trying to adjust the grip out here. The moment this hand, my strong hand, goes to my pistol, my weak hand comes up here to the center of my chest. It does two things. It anticipates this right hand with pistol to meet it. And secondly, it offers protection. If somebody is attacking you with a brick, a stick, a hammer, a machete, this hand is there to sacrifice. You may want to use this hand, not necessarily to support your shooting hand or your pistol, but also to defend, uh, defend off an attacker, and you'd have to shoot with your strong hand only. So, the moment this hand goes to the pistol, this weak hand comes up to the center of the chest in anticipation of either defending yourself or receiving your pistol. Let's call that number one. Let's call that number two. Once again, nothing in front of my pistol. I could even start shooting from here if I felt it was necessary. I could start moving back, I could take a knee, whatever the case may be. The left hand comes up, there's your grip, and you punch out. Once again, I could be shooting from this position already. My trigger finger is off the trigger, everything is nice and safe, but when I want to start shooting, there's my trigger. A moment away, and there's your position. To reholster, there's no rush. Once again, unload makes safe, or alternatively, you may want to reholster a live loaded pistol. Simply come back to the chest. You are still ready for whatever action may or may not befall you. This hand stays at the chest ready for anything. The pistol simply comes back and is reholstered. Always keep your finger off the trigger. Do not use your finger, trigger finger to assist with the draw of your pistol. You will shoot yourself. I've got a target up here. Let's do that draw. Engage your target a little ways away. Nice and slow. Let's get some rhythm going. So let's try that a little bit quicker. Once again, doesn't matter where your hands are, surrender on a table, doing dishes. They're gonna to go to your pistol. Strong thumb between your body and pistol. Hand comes up to the center of the chest in anticipation of the pistol and all defense. Pistol's gonna come straight up, joined by the weekend. That gives you the strength of your grip. You can start shooting from this position already. And we're gonna come up and shoot. Let's try that. Try go a little bit faster this time. A little bit quicker. You'll notice my group size opened up a little bit. I'm still shooting with enough sight picture. So my sights are on the target and when they're on, I'm letting that trigger rip perfectly adequate for that kind of speed. For demonstration purposes, shooting from cover, when you've got cover, it means you're surrounded by hard, possibly soft objects. It could be a, a door, it could be a car door, it could be a barricade, a dustbin bin. You want to hide yourself away, and you may be tempted to use a platform like this for stability factor. Very important, that works for slow fire, long range shooting. So let's say you want to shoot at a relatively small target, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, maybe even 100 meters away. By all means, use a platform such as this, get your grip, use this platform, and take shots. But be aware, your recoil impulse is gonna be greater, and I'm gonna explain in a moment why. 
So it's fine for deliberate fire, nice and slow and very accurate because you've got the stability of the table, the door or whatever cover you're using. But you won't be able to shoot fast because the recoil impulse of the pistol is not only now being transferred into your arms, your forearms, your hands and your wrists, but it's also going into the table. That impulse comes straight back into the pistol itself and creates a, a recoil action that will make it impossible to shoot at a high rate of fire. I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment. You've seen me shoot without support. The pistol stays flat. This APX Centurion, because it's got such a high bore, um, that you can get such a high grip into, into the bore and get really close to the bore, it stays flat. When you're shooting from a table like this, it doesn't. Right, 10 rounds. Relative speed. See how the pistol bounces around. I hope that came out in the video. You really don't have much control. I'm trying to track the front sight. I'm focusing on the front sight, but the front sight's going everywhere. When I hold this pistol steady and strong without it being in contact with a hard surface like this, I'm watching that front sight do this, not do this. 